Women now represent the fastest growing portion of the homeless population in America. COVID-19 has disproportionately impacted women with drastic increases in domestic violence and eviction. And one of the highest concentrations of unsheltered women is found in Los Angeles County. 38-year-old Stacy is from North Carolina. I have been homeless for a year and a half, and before COVID, I was the lead emissions coordinator of a mental health facility. I was so stretched thin. I lived in downtown LA in a loft. This is where I lived for almost seven months. Where was it? Where that tree is. Okay. The tent's still there. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Being out here was not easy at all. I was still working when I first came out here. It's not safe out here at all, at all. How many other women are on the streets in just this block alone? Is there a lot that are homeless? Yeah, the ratio is almost equal with men and women now. Um, and what is the difference for a woman living on the street versus a man living on the street? Women. And this is from experience. More times than not, do have to go to levels of demoralization, degradation. They they use their body, they you know, to be able to get by. I've been threatened because I wouldn't sleep with people. This isn't with like other people that are homeless. This could be with people that are living in could be anybody. Yeah. You're gonna think another homeless person did it. More than half of women on the streets are victims of domestic violence. The person that I was dating, he it ended up being a very toxic and abusive relationship. How bad did it get? He did that. He bit the place out of my face. He held me at knife point in front of my kid. Um, that's why I sent her home. I think that my mental health was affected the most. Like I contemplated suicide. She was in a living hell, and her living angel pulled her through. My goal was to reunify with my daughter. I need my child. Like, this is the one thing other than the shower that is tormenting me. She decided to get help. I sent out emails to the mayor, the governor, Lhasa, St. Joseph's. I got into ABH, started talking to the psychiatrist there, the substance abuse counselor. They've got some really good resources. They're really caring. That was the starting point. That really was just being able to have that sense of normalcy. My daughter's adorable. She's here with you today. Congratulations. What's your favorite thing about your mom? It's definitely that she's kind and, and she's pretty and sweet. So went from being suicidal, living on the streets, to now you have your daughter back and you look fabulous. Thank you. You have your the dress, the shoes, the you necklace. Have to glow up today. Tell me about the difference. It's a different person. It's a different. You're a different person now. I believe in myself more. I don't take no for an answer. I know that people mean well and there's a lot of agencies out here, but there's so many people to help that people get lost in the loop. Um, I stay on top of things. I'm a mother. I feel complete. I'm still technically homeless, but we're in a hotel. Let's just take a second to like acknowledge that because that's a big deal. You've been living on the streets for over a year and now you're in a hotel. How nice is that? It's very nice. <laughs> it's extremely nice. Are you going to be able to go into housing next after the hotel? I actually have a rapid rehousing voucher that's going to help us get on our feet for a year. It's still a little stressful trying to get a place where we are in a hotel, but thank God we're in somewhere, but the wheels are turning. What's the next step? I'm looking for a job myself. I am a nurse. Even though I'm away from here, I love this. I'm going to actually apply with Lhasa. This is what I want to do. I just, I like to help. Communities are known to organize and pool resources to support each other. You see that guy there cleaning? They make sure the street's cleaned up. They cook together? I did too at one point when I lived down there. Cooking on two propane burners for 50 people is not easy. Everybody came when I cooked. I think that some of the kindest things that I've seen some people do is just acknowledge me. Ask me how I'm doing. It goes a long way. Yeah, it really does. A few blocks over, Sandra, originally from North Dakota, is at her friend's encampment. It's up against a large planter box managed by house neighbors meant to block sidewalk camping. That plan is not working here. She's been a homeless resident for more than three years. Knock, knock. So this is quite like a little compound you got go going on. <laughs> it's messy. You need to come out of this room and clean up. How would you describe yourself? Well, good hearted, I guess. They need somebody to talk to. They don't have anyone that's not going to judge them. It's easier for me 
then to do myself. I, I'm not I like more than probably $20 to my name in months. How do you eat? People's leftovers. There's a lot of people that come around and do um, generously give to the, us. One in five Californians, that's about 8 million people, struggle with food insecurity. The state issues EBT cards to support with food aid, and sometimes getting that card can be challenging. You can't even get a replacing EBT card, you know, and stuff, and it's been uh, a long time. It gets frustrating at times if a person gives up, but like, what, what are you supposed to do? Food stamps are entitled to whoever needs them in America, but housing is not an entitlement here. And programs created to house others come with rules. You gotta be in by a certain time, even if they have the open, you know. Um, it's it's like, almost like you're always under surveillance. At this time, Sandra feels more comfortable living on the streets. And as for her next steps... When there's a will, there's a way. Some people just need to be loved until they can love themselves. One woman found support, while the other is still on the streets. These women are more than a statistic. They have a voice and they want to be part of the conversation to end homelessness. And as the high cost of housing continues to skyrocket homeless numbers, public and political will is vital to get the homeless the right help for right now.